Thanks to our donors, this past year we worked with our partners on literally hundreds of programs uh, across the United States and around the world. We took on issues that, quite frankly, have major cost implications and high burden of disease, such as tobacco use, hypertension, and healthcare acquired infections. We've been able to do a number of programs, including things like road safety, providing resources to patients, and modernizing data systems. This year's been an exciting year when it comes to data. The CDC Foundation is working now with CDC uh, very closely and with other partners on modernizing data. This includes something called the digital bridge. With the right data systems, we will have public health officials that are able to see these problems emerging much earlier than what we've been able to uh, with our current systems. The CDC Foundation's Healthy Homes, Healthy People project is really a true collaboration between one of the chapters on Navajo Nation, the Little Water chapter, CDC's Viral Special Pathogens branch, and the CDC Foundation and our donor. Hantavirus is fatal in the majority of cases. There is no cure or vaccine. The most effective public health intervention is prevention. Without our donors, the work of the CDC Foundation would simply not happen. We're so incredibly grateful to our donors for their passion, resources, commitment, and for their partnership. Just in this past year, one program that I have been truly moved by is the Evelyn and Thomas McKnight Family Fund for Patient Safety. They've used their lives to work collaboratively with CDC and the CDC Foundation to promote patient safety and safe injection practices. The work that we do every day in America and around the world would not have been possible without the support of our donors and partners. CDC is one of the many partners that is engaged working on the global health uh, security agenda that will create the ability to really stop pathogens and global health threats in their path. We are supporting CDC's efforts uh, beyond what is their allocation from the U.S. government. The work that they're doing is so critical that not having the resources to do it is just simply something that we is too big of a deal to risk. Our programs are growing, our impact is growing. Being a good uh, steward of donor funds is, is the most critically important thing to what we do on a daily basis. The new systems that we have in place will allow us to grow and scale the way that we need to. Thanks to you, our donors, we've been able to save and improve lives over the past year, both here at home and around the world.